how HTML pages are served. So when we type in a web address or the address of a page, a web page there, and we press enter, that page is magically opened up by the browser. But how does that work? Well, today we're going to look at that process. So the first step in the process, after you've entered your web address or unique resource locator, as it's actually known, is that the computer, the browser looks in the computer's DNS cache to see if it can find an IP address that matches that web address. Human beings, we type in these web addresses because they're easy for us to remember and to type, but computers, all data is sent across the internet using destination IP addresses. So we need to have a way of uh, translating uh, this here and finding out the corresponding address. So the first thing it does is it looks in its own cache and the computer's own cache. You can actually see this yourself if you want to. You can just go to uh, open up CMD if you're on Windows and type in IP config forward slash display DNS. And you'll see that your computer has lots and lots and lots of IP address and URL combinations. There we go, loads of them, loads of them. Have a go look at your own. And what it's doing is it just keeps a record of the web address and its IP address. Now, if it finds that data, then that's all good. You can then move on to step number four. But if it can't find that data, then we need to we need to find out that IP address and we need to go talk to somebody else. So how do we do that? Well, step two is we send a request to the ISP, your internet service provider, um, and they have a they have either have their own DNS resolver server or they'll send you on to the right place. They'll forward the packet on, and here they send uh, you send a request to the resolver server. The resolver server looks in its own DNS cache and sees it can see if it can find a match. If it does, it sends back the IP address. Uh, but if it doesn't, then what it does, we move on to step three and it goes up the chain. Now, I'm not going to go into a lot of detail today because there's a separate video that I'll put a link to on there. Um, but what happens essentially is the ISP resolver server passes on the request to a root server which passes it on to a top level domain server, which then passes it on to a name server. And then that is finally sent back with the IP address. I will post a full a link to a full video that I found that um, explains that process really well, but we're not going to go into that just today. So finally, your computer has the IP address of catgix.com. And what it does is step four, it sends a GET request for the home page. Unless, of course, you specified which particular page that you want it to load. Uh, if, it, if you don't specify, then CatGIS will just know to send you the home page. There we go. So you send the request through in step four. And then we move on to step five. Step five, much, much simpler. All that this web server does is it goes into its storage and it retrieves the page. Now in this particular case, it's index.html, which is the standard for a home page of a website. And it takes that and it sends it back to your computer, which is step five. Uh, step, step six is the browser then takes that file, uh, that packet that's received, takes the data, uh, builds the file. And then once it's got the file, it then interprets it within the browser loading the script and the page is loaded. There you go, so that's step six. So that's the full uh, the full process from start to finish. And here is a full, um, a full written, I'm not gonna talk through it all, but there's the full process from start to finish on one slide, so you can have a look at that later. Um, and what I thought we'd do finally is we'll just show you how this works here with a scratch animation highly professional animation here we go so let's see here we go so there's mr mr penguin and he's bored so he goes to look at some cat gifs so he goes over to the computer uh, types in catgif.com and the computer's dns cache checks to see if it's got it 
If it's got it, it will send a packet straight to cat gifs. Uh, if it's not got it, then it's going to go talk to the DNS resolver. There we go. So a packet is sent over to the DNS resolver, goes via your router to your ISP, uh, and then the DNS resolver, it then checks to see if it's got the address. In this instance, if it didn't have the address, it would then send it off to the root server and all the others, but we're not doing that. Yeah. So here we go. And yep, it's got it. And it passes it back to the computer. And the first thing a computer does is it then adds that address to its DNS cache. So it's got that for future reference. It's now got the IP address it needs and it sends the packet on. There we go. There we go. The packet goes all the way. Here we go. Right across the internet. And it passes from all through the backbone of the internet here. This is like the center of the internet getting bounced from router to router until it gets to its destination. And it gets a request. There we go. The router gives it the uh, the data it needs and then it sends it back. Uh, it might not come back across the internet via the same route. It all depends on the uh, what the router says and how much traffic is flowing elsewhere. Uh, but it gets passed back all the way back to your ISP, back through to the router, back to the home pay the computer. And then the last thing the computer does is it loads the page. There we go. Brilliant. Good. Okie dokie. So that is the process of loading a simple HTML page. There you go. Thank you very much.